lovely people. How are you all doing today? I hope you've had a good week. My week's been pretty good. I My mum bought me a new begonia plant, um, which is spotty. And I made myself these duck earrings, which are very, very cute. <laughs> when I first started YouTube, I used to just do time lapses of things in my sketchbook and then put some music over them and not speak or not show myself in them. Uh, so I thought I would do an updated version where I do a time lapse in my sketchbook, but I talk over it or I do a voiceover. Um, I found a really good question sheet with some really weird questions on there that I thought would be quite fun to answer. If you want to just watch the time lapse and you don't want to hear me ramble over the top of it, feel free to mute me and put your own music on top of it. I just thought this would be a good opportunity for us to, for you to see a time lapse or for you to get to know me a little bit better or even if you want to just mute me and get some work done while I'm also doing work then you've got, you've got choices, you've got choices my friends if you are wanting music recommendations to go over this video um, off the top of my head I can think of Reverie by Cloud Debussy who also did Claire de Lune, so that's a lovely piece of piano music if you just want piano music. Uh, if you want something a little bit more upbeat that you can sing along to that's a little bit cool, a little bit whimsical, a little bit cute, Boogie Wonderland by Happy Feet. I listen to it every day, there's no judging here. Um, just listen to whatever you want really. Just mute me now. See ya! Do -do 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 -do. So this sketchbook I actually started in Weymouth, as you can tell. I never ever do the front page, it's just not a thing that I do, but this time I decided to do the front page. So there we go. Um, this was done, well, it was based on some boats that I saw on my first day there, and it was done with Arteza pencils. Um, I'm not really a pencil person is the thing. I Every time I've had pencils I've hated it and given up pretty much immediately. Uh, so this did start off as being realism but then I realised how good pe the pencils are for getting the abstracty strokes that I like. So then it ended up being more abstract than realistic but I really love the way that it turned out. Um, and the Arteza pencils really surprised me because I wanted the, the more expensive Prismacolor pencils which is the one that every artist wants because they're like really soft and really they blend well and but they're also really really expensive so i didn't go for those ones uh, especially as a beginner pencil penciler user pencil <laughs> pencil Uh, as a beginner, as a beginner pencil, as a beginner pencil user, um, they were a little bit expensive for me, so I got one with the Arteza ones. Um, fun fact about my Arteza pencils: I sprung for the forty-eight pack of Arteza pencils because I thought there'd, there'd be a nice variety of colours there. And then when I was sat on the beach colouring, I was complaining to the Tobster that <laughs> I didn't have a white pencil. I was like, why would you make a set without a white pencil? Like, what is wrong with these people? Why do you not have a white pencil? Anyway, um, flashback, flashback, flash forward a few weeks and I lifted up the tin that my Arteza pencils were in that I had taken them out of because I put them in my pencil case. And I was like, why is the, why is this heavy? There's nothing in here. Why is it heavy? So I'm rattling it and thinking, what is in here? Uh, and I open it and I pull up the first tray and realise there's a whole second lot of tray underneath with a white pencil in it. Um, so yeah, I got the 48 pack and only took 24 with me because I'm an idiot and didn't realise there was a second tray. Anyway, yeah, let's move on to the next page. Uh, these ones are ones that I started while I was in Weymouth as well. This is, um, I want to say Portland Bill. Part of me wants to see Portsmouth Bill. I think it's Portland Bill, which is a big lighthouse. Um, so I started that while I was there, and this is also a drawing of Durdle Door, which is the big archway that you can swim under there, um, which I have also started but haven't finished. So these two will look unfinished, it's because they are. Um, I may get around to finishing them. 
This is my ultimate favorite page. Um, when we were in Weymouth, there was a lot of boats. I thought I'd just do a little page of all the boats and I really love the way that this turned out. Like this little seagull guy is my favorite and also this one up here. I was thinking of turning him maybe into a little freebie sticker. Uh, this one's the party boat because it wasn't actually originally this color, but I really liked it so I did that. I often like to put lyrics as well that stuck in my head at the time in my sketchbook so often when I go through these I'll be like oh that's the song that I was singing at that time. I don't actually know what this song is. I couldn't be bothered to google how many <laughs> how many legs a crab has so uh he got six and some claws I don't know if that's <laughs> I don't know if that's cute. Yeah so that's my favorite page. These are, this page is based on jellyfish, obviously. The jellyfish at the Sea Life Center, which if you watched my Weymouth vlog, you'll have seen them. They were in this really cool tank that had like light up LEDs in it. So whenever the tank changed color, the jellyfish changed color and it was really cool. Um, so I wanted to do some very colorful jellyfish. These ones actually at the bottom, and I think this one actually has like a um, alcohol ink base. So I drew them in pen and then went over them in pencil and you get these really cool kind of focus, focus. You get these kind of really cool like line marks here, which I thought was awesome. The time lapse that we're gonna do today is gonna be um, based on all of the very, very, very colorful houses that are in Weymouth. <laughs> Weymouth is very, very colorful. There's so many colorful houses and they're all very gorgeous and very different. So we are gonna do some drawings based on that today. As I said, this is the point where you can mute me. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I will see you at the end. These are what I'm going to be working on. I really like the cute little houses. Um, so I'm going to attempt to create some of those. I'm also going to stop talking about my drawing technique for now because I, it, I just draw with pencils. That's how this technique goes. I take the pencils and I draw with them. So I'm going to answer a few questions and then I'll come back to this. Right. Da, 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 da. Where is it? I had it. Okay. I found some weird questions. And I like them, so we're gonna do that today. What shirt am I wearing? My pajama shirt. Boy, that one was real easy. Um, not only on my days off from my retail job, I do actually get dressed, but today I'm not getting dressed because I got dressed yesterday and it was a very, very stressful day. Um, I actually wore a dress yesterday and it was real cute and I looked real cute and I did my makeup. And yesterday was a bit of a mixed bag because I it got booped by two white cabbage butterflies yesterday. One was in my back garden and it came to say hello and it booped into my arm. And then the second one, I was actually in town, uh, which is really weird because I don't think I've ever seen a butterfly in the city centre of Chester. Uh, but it it landed on like just on like my chest just as I was walking. Uh, past a charity shop that I was looking at and it landed kind of on the top of my dress and then w left again and I think that's really strange because it's never happened to me before like once so the fact that it happened twice to me in one day is really strange to me uh, so yeah uh, so that happened that was a good thing I got booped by two butterflies yesterday that was a good thing I also walked past a charity shop and found this huge sewing basket like a little like kind of sewing box um, a really big one too. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's made of wicker and it has bees on it and it only cost me £15. And if anyone that's listening does any sewing, you'll know that sewing boxes are quite expensive, especially like even small ones are quite expensive. So the fact that I got a brand new one for £15, which is huge and fits all of my material in, is incredible. And then I lost my debit card. 
Yeah, so yesterday was a bit of a mixed bag for me because then I had to call up and cancel my card and ask for a new one. Again. Which is like the second time in two months. So they're gonna start thinking that I'm trying to commit fraud or something. But I'm not, I promise bank. I'm just doing some colouring in now with my black sharpie in the windows, which I don't particularly like. And I don't know why I'm still doing it. But I'm doing it anyway. Oh, this is me realizing that I really love the the texture of Sharpie on top of pencil. Oh my god, it's just, ugh. I don't know what it is. I just like it so much. And I didn't realize that I liked it, which is why working in your sketchbook is a good thing because sometimes you just, you discover things. That's what the sketchbook is for. It's a portal where you can go in there and you can just discover things that you didn't know before. Mostly art stuff, but I mean, it depends on how philosophical you want to get with your artwork. Also trying to attempt to use Sharpie to draw in the windows, because the windows are like bright white, so I'm going to use Sharpie over this. A really neat trick that I've discovered is that if you use an eraser on coloured pencils that don't erase, you can use it as kind of like a smudging stick to help it blend in, because I don't have a smudging stick, because I'm an idiot. The next question is, do you prefer warm lighting or bright white lighting? Obviously, if you're filming, you are supposed to film in bright white lighting. Uh, but I hate that. It makes me think of hospitals and waiting rooms and stuff like that. So I actually prefer to be cozy. And warm lighting is very, very cozy. As you can probably tell from this video, I have filmed it in warm lighting because I currently have my desk set up really weird where I have one of my desks on top of the other. Wait, these aren't even Sharpies. Why did I say these were Sharpies? These are Pro Markers. No, they're not, they're Posca Pen. Oh my God, this is a disaster. Okay, so I've been saying Sharpies this entire time. They're not Sharpies, they're Posca Pens. Um, but yeah, this one is me starting with Posca Pens first. Uh, the Posca Pens, if you don't know, are basically acrylic paint pens. So this is me starting with Posca pens first for this one. I'm trying to make sure all the colours are all different next to each other so that they're not like all the blues next to each other. Because I'm using, while I am using a reference, I don't want it to be exactly like the reference because I'm an abstract artist, so yeah. Yeah boy. So that's my big head. I actually think that I ruined this one. I drew the roofs in and I kind of liked the roofs and then I was like, I'm gonna just put color these in. I'm just gonna color these roofs in and I color them in black and I hate it. What's my least favorite mode of transportation? I can answer this one really quickly. It's taxi because I, <laughs> it's just so awkward. I, I'm an introvert. I don't like talking to people. And I mean, I've been getting better at it because I've been working at it. I have never once booked a taxi by myself. I have never once been in a taxi by myself. Toby is very, very good at indulging me when it comes to anxiety and talking to people. So if I need him to, he will make appointments for me and he will go get parcels from next door neighbors and he will talk to taxi drivers for me so that I don't have to. And I love him so much for that. I would take trains and planes and maybe even possibly skateboarding over a taxi. Okay, so I think I actually end up stopping... I think I end up actually stopping doing this little drawing here because I hate it so much. So I would just like to say, um, a lot of people say that making mistakes is okay in your sketchbook because it is a book specifically designed for you to make mistakes and that you should just keep making the mistakes because that is how you learn to make your artwork good. I do, however, Often I let my- well, I do let myself make mistakes, but I also think that if you have made a mistake, you should also be allowed to- to fix it. I can live with my mistakes in my sketchbook, I don't mind them, but I also think that if you want to have a nice sketchbook, you should have a nice sketchbook, and you should be allowed to use that opportunity to fix it. If you could add a single option to your car, what would you add? I don't have a car. If I did have a car, it would have lots and lots of cushions in it. Who would you really just like to punch in the face? Myself a lot of the time. 
I don't think I could bring myself to harm any other human being except maybe quite possibly people who have done a lot of bad things like maybe Hitler. If I could hit myself in the face I would. But I can't. I mean I could. I just don't think my brain would let me do it hard enough. I think I'm collaging. I think that collaging is the bee's knees. Because you can use collage to fix anything. You can use anything within a collage and it's still a collage. Um, and I just think, ugh, I just love collaging. It's kind of that feeling where you can just make a mess and you're allowed to make a mess because it's collaging and you have to make a mess. So it's just so, ugh, it's just so good. I love collaging. If you could flip a switch that would wipe any band or musical artist off of the earth, which band or musical artist would it be? Absolutely none of them, because while I might not like certain music types or genres, there are people that find music so inspirational towards their work, and I think by taking any any band or musical artist off of the earth, you are ruining a lot of hard work and a lot of lives and a lot of inspiration for many, many people. So, none of them. It doesn't matter because I probably wouldn't listen to them anyway. Like, they don't have to be off of the planet. I just won't listen to them. Uh, another question. <laughs> Tomorrow, you have a date with someone in this room. Who would be the worst choice? Well, I'm the only person in this room, so I think it would probably be me. <laughs> I really, really love the way that this sketchbook spread turned out. In the end, like a mess, it got dicey in the middle, but I really love the way that this turned out. So, this is my sketchbook page. I really love it. I really love the way the colours are, and I love the simplicity, and I like it much better than when I fucked it up in the middle. So, I mean, woo! Hello guys, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the voiceover. I, I've never actually done a proper voiceover before that's actually used with a microphone. I, it's, it's normally a, um, I normally do it on my phone and just speak directly into my phone and it comes across as quite there. So this is the final page. Uh, I'm really impressed. I, I just, I think this sketchbook should be used for fun. Um, occasionally I will draw something in my sketchbook that I like and then I use it further or I will redraw it on my iPad, things like that. Um, but I actually think this was really fun. I'm trying to make my sketchbook fun so that I draw more in it. Uh, and the best way to do that for me is to kind of train my brain to think, ah oh, yes, this is a fun activity. We should do this again. Um, so that's what I've been doing. If you like this kind of thing, and you want to see me do it again, then give me a thumbs up, maybe a subscribe. If there's anything you didn't like about this video, give me a nude. If there's anything you did like about this video, give me a nude. If you want me to do this again, but with questions that you guys asked, give me a nude. Uh, drop it in the comments, uh, message me on Instagram. You could do it on Twitter, I guess, if you want, but I'm barely on there. Have a good life, my loves, and I will see you next time. Bye.